Letter 66, Camp near Orange, C.H., Virginia, December 8, 1863. Dear Georgie, Yours of 7th this month came to hand last night. I would have written to you by today's mail, but I was expecting Truss's furlough to be returned to company approved and that he would start home on tomorrow. Furlough has not come and may not come for several days. His furlough has just now come. He will leave for home tomorrow. I send J.W. Davis' gun, one choir of letter paper, one bunch of inferior envelopes. I have not been able to get anything to send Johnny and Willie. I send you a due bill I hold on J.T. Hewitt of my company. W.P. Hickman will pay it when you have presented it to him. Send it to him by first opportunity. Hewitt has written to him to pay it. I am afraid you need more money than you have. I can send you a hundred dollars at the end of this month. I hope Congress will do something for line officers during present session. Government ought to give us our rations. We pay nearly half of what we draw to commissary for beef and flour. Health of company is good. No cases of pneumonia have occurred in regiment since writing my last to you. Considerable excitement in regiment yesterday on account of a numeral cases of smallpox in the regiment. Cases alluded to was but a case of measles. Ralph was here today. He is well. We are continuing to do nothing. We are living now almost a perfect life of idleness. Georgie, I never did feel as little like writing as I do tonight. You must excuse this short and uninteresting letter. I am perfectly well, but I feel badly. Remember me to all the family. Your devoted husband, Elias Davis. P.S. I sent you paper and needles. Due bill I send you must be presented to W.P. Hickman, merchant at Elaton. You may not get gun and paper for several days after Trust gets home, as he may have to leave his trunk at Talladega.